Hey everyone, welcome back. Wow, two years, two years, coming up on two years officially being debt free. A lot has happened within those two years and a lot has happened within the last few months. So let's jump into the video and I will dive into you guys what's going on with me, where I'm located, why there's a different office or different backdrop here and what's been happening. So let's jump into it. So officially been two years since I've been debt free. So I wanted to cover kind of some things that I've learned along the process and how things are different now that I am uh, debt free. So um, other news is I am actually officially not just consumer debt or credit card debt or student loan debt. I am house debt too uh, free because we sold our condo in Austin and I'm currently living in San Francisco. So I have a new office, a new house, new everything. We're not we're renting right now, so we're not buying. So we're officially debt free. We did make some money from the sale of our house. I'd like to be transparent in that. If you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know I did a uh, video. The first video over here on the channel was me documenting and going over my debt free journey. I'll post that link in the description here, but it has officially gone on two years. We're coming up on two years. I officially paid off my debt in uh, December of 2017. Now we're in November of 2019, coming up on December of 2019, uh, depending on when you guys are watching this video. I can say a lot has changed since being debt free as far as my mentality, my ability to be able to just have more freedom and doing the things that I'm doing now. So the fact that I'm here in San Francisco, I think attributes a lot to me being debt free because I believe if I still had my debt, then I still think that would have uh, factored into my ability to be able to move because as you guys know, I have since become a debt free or, or, big, or halfway during the process of that journey. I started my own consulting business or agency, technology consulting business that I've been running that full time going on about two years. So things have been great on that aspect. So business as well, as far as spending and finances and stuff like that, there hasn't been any real adjustment in that. Probably the main thing that I've been able to do is investing the money. So it's, I've been really ramped up on investing lately and where I want to put my money and the huge focus of investing and having my money work for me. The whole reason why we get out of debt or we pay off our debt is because we want to, you know, be generational changers. You know, that's been my new saying. It's like, you want to, you know, be the change. I know for me is I am the change, the generational change in my family when it comes to wealth and dealing with money. That is the main focus for me. That and just having the freedom to not be boggled down or having to make decisions based off your financial circumstances or based off the debt that you're into, having the ability to have that paid off and have the freedom to go out and travel more, do more things, you know, spend money, splurge money on things that you like and not feel guilty about it because you have your money going to someone for some type of debt and you know, you're losing money that way. You know, the whole goal is just that shift, that mentality of being able to have my money work for me and instead of against me. So that's been huge. As far as like the ability to save and advance, it's been crazy because I, when I started my debt, I was, I had about $80,000 in debt. But in reality, when I first looked at it, I was about a negative, about 100K my net worth. So now my net worth has not only, my goal when I was getting out of debt was to get it to zero. Not only has I, have I gotten it zero, I've increased it substantially, uh, substantially since being out of debt. So I've been able to save more and invest more. So that's been crazy to see. And it took it took me a while to fathom that or just get my mind around that for that to become normal or that to become okay. It's still kind of shocking sometimes when I go and check and see my investments account and check my bank accounts. Like it still like, you know, just thinking a few years ago, like things were completely different. I wasn't quite living. I. I started the habit or practice of saving money before I started paying off my debt. So I had a pretty decent cushion at the time, which I thought was a lot now, but like compared to what I have now, like it's a lot more. So just continue to grow with that and continue to learn like as more money come in, what ways can I continue to give back to people? What ways can I uh, have the ability to, uh, you know, donate to different charities and stuff that I like, or, you know, just different impacts and stuff like that without being so tight and tied down to money. And quite frankly, just not having the stress around money. I have my lifestyle cut down to, if I wanted to take a few years of not working, then I have my lifestyle cut down to where my expenses aren't really that high, that aren't high at all. So just maintaining that lifestyle of living, being able to buy things that I like and 
things that I want, but also still having some of the same practices and being able to save up for that and then go buy it so I don't feel, so it doesn't pit me in a hole or it's not like a financial hit for me. Even things like Christmas, Christmas is coming up, being able to save during the year for Christmas and when Christmas comes, I have a set amount that I want to spend or I can spend, I can spend more than what I spent in the past, but I have that money saved up, I have it budgeted, so it's not a huge burden um, on me. So that's been probably the biggest takeaway. It's just learning how to maintain a, with, not only did I go through the thing of paying off debt, not having debt payments, but income increase as well. So just dealing with those things and balancing those things and making sure that I don't fall back into debt. Obviously we're in San Francisco, so the goal right now is we're saving up to buy a um, house here. We're using the money that we got selling our place in Austin. We put that in the bank and you know we have some short-term investments that we're doing with that to help grow and then we're saving. So the goal is to try to buy a house here. Uh, with the housing market being so much more expensive here, I'm not sure within our short-term goals, the goal is in three to four years to be able to buy um, a house is gonna be really aggressive. We wanna pay something cash. We want to build up as much as we can or save up as much as we can possible to put down a huge down payment or put down as much as we can towards the mortgage so we can have um, a reasonable mortgage payment if we do have one. If we can pay cash for it, that's great. Uh, but if not, we're still going to move forward with that and just save up as much as we can to put down a huge uh, down payment. Like I said, we got a pretty big head start with what we uh, made in our place in Austin, so that's good. So we'll just continue to uh, pile onto that and you know, hopefully we can get to the goal of maybe uh, buying a house here. Cash if not, this isn't home after four or five years, three or four years, whatever. We can always go back to Texas, which the housing market is a lot more reasonable there. And as a plan, we should definitely be able to buy um, a house uh, outright with just cash with no uh, debt if we choose to go that route as well. That's been pretty much the update of where I've been. How's it been two years? That's been kind of a lump sum of what happened the last few months as well, why you guys haven't seen any new videos from me. I'm back in my routine, I'm back settled. I got my office set up, well, for the most part, to record new videos. Definitely got some more tweaks and stuff to do. I'm gonna do a uh, San Francisco house tour as well so you guys can see the place here um, in San Francisco. And I'll do a video uh, specifically on why we chose to move to San Francisco as well, given the cost of living is a lot higher here compared to where we were in Austin and just do a breakdown of cost of living as well between the two, between Texas and California as well. Anyway, hope you guys are doing well and uh, stay forward for more videos and more content to come soon. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.